.NET Framework and Visual Studio 2012. What is the .NET Framework? You can use the .NET Framework 4.5 with Visual Studio 2012, a fast and efficient development platform that enables you to create applications and services. You can utilize several different solution types and create solutions for a broad range of devices. .NET Framework consists of three main parts. The Common Language Runtime, CLR. The .NET Framework Class Library. And a collection of development frameworks. The Common Language Runtime, CLR. The Common Language Runtime is a robust and highly secure execution environment that manages the execution of code. The CLR includes memory management, transactions, and multithreading. The .NET Framework Class Library. The .NET Framework is a class library containing common functionality and constructs that you can use when building applications. Instead of reinventing functionality, you can simply reuse already existing functionality. You can of course create your own class libraries that can be reused. System.io.file is one example of an existing class that is ready to be utilized. This particular class contains functionality to manipulate files in the Windows file system. Development Frameworks There are several different development frameworks ready to be used when building common application types. Each framework consists of necessary components and infrastructure to get projects started. Windows Presentation Foundation WPF is for desktop applications. SAML is for Windows 8 desktop applications. Active Server Pages ASP.NET Web Forms is for server-side web applications. ASP.NET MVC is for server-side web applications. Windows Communication Foundation WCF is for server-oriented web applications. And Windows Services is for long-running applications. Features. Visual Studio 2012 enables you to build applications, components and services using different programming languages and rapid design, implementation, building, testing and deployment. Visual Studio has different views suited for different needs. You can use the design view to build user interfaces or if you want more control you can use the code editor views. There are also wizards available for certain tasks to speed up the development. The Server Explorer window enables you to log in to servers and access data and services. You can also create access and modify databases in familiar ways in the Visual Studio ID. Visual Studio 2012 ships with a lightweight version of the Internet Information Services IIS as a default web server that you can use when you debug your web applications. With the debugging features, you can easily follow execution paths using breakpoints and the ability to step through your code. The error list window displays errors, warnings and messages that are generated when you edit and build your code. Coding is made more efficient with IntelliSense that displays a list of matching names and code snippets that completes your code by inserting code in the place of your keyword. Help is always close at hand by using the integrated help or the online MSDN help library. Templates. When starting a new project, Visual Studio 2012 makes it easy by providing templates for the most common scenarios. The templates contain starter code that you can build on when creating your application. Relevant components, controls and references to necessary assemblies for the chosen template is included from the start. The IDE will be configured according to the template. Console application. The console application has no graphical user interface GUI because it's run in a console window using a command line interface. As such, it's considered to be very lightweight. Windows Forms application. 
Winos Forms applications can be used to create desktop forms applications that run directly on top of the operating system and not in a browser. WPF application. WPF is considered to be the next generation of Windows applications that gives you much more control over the user interface design. SAML is used to define the UI and C Sharp the code behind. Windows Store applications. Windows Store applications are applications that are targeted for the Windows 8 operating system. To build these types of applications, you need skills in SAML, C Sharp, HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript. Class library. When building a class library, a DLL assembly will be the result. This is a good way to reuse code and to share it among many applications. All you need to do to reuse a DLL is to reference the assembly. ASP.NET Web Application The ASP.NET Web Application template produces a server-side compiled ASP.NET Web Application that uses a browser to display the user interface. ASP.NET MVC4 Application the ASP.NET MVC4 application template produces a server-side compiled ASP.NET model view controller MVC application that separates the presentation, business logic and data access layers and uses a browser to display the user interface. WCF service application. The WCF service application template makes it possible to create service-oriented architecture, SOA services. Productivity features. When coding, you can get help from Quick Info functionality. Quick Info displays the complete declaration for any identifier in your code. Just hover with the mouse pointer over an identifier and the Quick Info will be displayed in a gray pop-up. When writing a variable, command or function name in the code editor, the complete word option will display a list of matches that will get progressively shorter as you type more characters. If you want to force the list to open, you can hold down the ALT key and press the right arrow key, or you can hold down the CTRL key and press the space bar. Code snippets can make your coding more effective by inserting snippets of code when you select a snippet from the complete word list. Make sure the desired code snippet is selected and press the tab key twice to insert the code.